right, we're gonna be getting in on a Falco Ditto on Battlefield. And we're both gonna be green. I am gonna be the light colored Falco. So now, I just wanted to make sure the Falco wasn't gonna try and run away from me because of course that would be the easiest way to move out. We're gonna take on up B. So, going for a bit of an unusual punish instead of just taking the F smash and running, see if we can get them to hold in. You don't want to always just do the uh, easiest out you can. So, of course at low percent you do. So at this in this matchup, it's Falco. You want to laser the other Falco, of course, but you want to, but the reason for that is because if you're lasering them, they're not lasering you, right? And also, that locks them down, that makes them shield, they're no longer mobile, then you can do things to them. So this Falco is going really high, and that's letting them avoid lasers, but because they're not sure what to do afterwards, put them in an awkward position. We're gonna combo our late laser into forward smash there, and that's gonna help us out a little bit. We're gonna change our color, and um, we're also you're also noticing that we are going to attack the other Falco out of the air too. And then once we're hitting them, we always try to push them um, off stage as much as we can. So notice I go to the side of them immediately. Try to push this Falco off stage. Of course, it didn't work out there. That's okay. And I didn't get my up tilt out. So this Falco is having a much stronger time, much more pressure on me now. So th this Falco looks like they want to just space moves when they kind of get something out. So we're going to kind of keep that in mind. Tried to bait that, wasn't quite close enough. So again, look at all these, um, look at these F tilts, look at everything else this, this player really wants to put out. So if they're gonna put out all these moves like this, they're gonna space all those moves, then we wanna just beat them out with our back air, our down air, that kind of stuff. Right there. <laughs> so you can kind of see how frustrating that can be, right? because they were putting out these moves and they were hitting us out. They were putting out the F tilt. Like if they get lasered, they want to throw out something immediately. They don't want to be in the disadvantaged state. They were full hopping on Battlefield, but on a stage on Pokemon Stadium where you don't have so much access to platforms, they're going to be going for something different. And so that's kind of what we're going to be doing. We're trying to try and punish these people for, um, for these common habits after lasers. So again, they were doing full hops before, we started challenging their landing with shine, or we started spacing back air. Otherwise, um, we wait for them to throw out a move, and then we come in with down air like I was saying. We can go for forward smash if we want the harder call out. Um, I actually dashed back early, that way I could avoid forward tilt and all those other things, and then come in for the punish, and still pressure holding shield. Now if I dash back and they full hop, they would be able to get away. So it really, dash back can be a bit of a read depending on the position. Um, that being said, I wanted to—I just wanted to explain a little more about how that laser mix-up all worked. Because um, some I, before I've talked about how you want to aerial versus laser, but now I just want to talk about how when you laser and you hit them, what can they do afterwards? So turn around, aerial. They can forward tilt. They can full hop. They can dash away. They can shield and they can crouch. Sometimes, if you take too much time in between your lasers, they could even aerial into you, which is a bit surprising for some people. It surprises me occasionally. So, make sure that you are still applying pressure and doing these immediate threats, but you're also taking time to observe. So the timing mix-up when you have advantage, very important in the Falco Ditto. Make sure you're really looking at what your opponent's doing when you get that laser out. Anyway, um, go showed you a little bit about Punish 2, but yeah, that is the main theme I wanted to give you here. GG's to Yusuf, and hopefully you guys enjoy these educational, informative Falco dittos. All right, we got a Falco Fox match coming in on Final Destination. Now, on this stage, you're going to notice Fox is going to use a lot more double jumps, and this is primarily. Oh, I tried to hit Fox the other way. That's why I went for down smash. Oh, it's, I jabbed instead of forward smashing. I do use the A button. I was actually hoping I would get that hit of down smash. That's not a shine back here, but that's okay. We want to push Fox off the stage. That's why we reverse there. But yeah, so again, we're trying to put our laser out. Every time Fox lands, we want Fox to really feel it, right? Or we want to land close with a laser like that. So Fox is not sure what we're going to do. We have various options.
And I should have turned around to do that, but that's okay. And we're just pressuring, we're putting a lot of pressure on this fox, hitting a lot of strong combos and making them uncertain about their decisions. So again, they landed, we pressured them. Oh, tried to avoid that, it's okay. It's hard as Falco in the corner when you don't have a laser out. Not much you can do. Notice we crouched to avoid that. Oh, thought Fox was gonna land, went for the double jump, caught me off guard. Well, that was supposed to be up tilt, that's okay. We ne'er pushed the Fox all the way off stage, and of course, our laser whiffed, so Fox was able to get back. The lack accuracy of your laser is important. Even though I missed that other one, it made the Fox roll, so that was an okay laser that was on point, or it made the Fox jump, excuse me. So there's our laser. It would have forced the fox to jump right there. So that's a fine laser. I'm just gonna go for get up attack, see if fox respects it. And of course that is gonna be a better stage for Falco in the matchup, especially because this person did not hit the strongest chain grabs. Falco is gonna be able to have much more laser control. But on this stage, it's gonna be a little different. So again, notice the fox is dashing back every time they take a laser. So we're just gonna go in for some pressure on them for that. push them out even though their SDI is quite good oh thought we were gonna be able to get dash attack down to there and maybe we wouldn't been able to probably would have been better to go for forward smash but we take our damage regardless and we could have gone straight out for a back air as well but we're just we're still keeping ourselves in good position so that's okay again look at all the dash back the fox is doing now dash back full hop they had to finally shield there but you can kind of see, if, if you do the same type of response all the time to Falco, he can just kind of eat you alive, right? And Fox actually hadn't touched the ground, so no jump. So we could have actually done more of a creative punish there if we wanted to. Shoot, shoot there just in case Fox jumps. But again, the Fox is waiting still a whole lot so you can kind of see as the pace is sped up and i've stopped lasering it's gotten more for the fox's favor we've lasered slowed things down things are going more okay we waited a little bit with our runoff double jump so the fox might think they could make it back they have gotten rewarded before with that and again there's the waiting coming out not quite able to make it back from that back air. So again, I attacked from too far away without laser support, and that's what can that's what can happen to you. Now we have our laser coming out. And the fox had fox shields a second, then moves. And you can war you can ride the wall there, but you have to go up a little bit first. Um, so Hopefully that makes some sense to you guys. Now, what we were doing, we were pressuring the fox's landing, but we weren't shooting the same laser pattern. Notice I wasn't just doing laser, 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 laser as fast as possible. I was shooting lasers that were coming out at variable timings, but I was telling you why I was doing that. I was telling you, sometimes I'm pressuring the fox landing. Sometimes I'm seeing if the fox is gonna jump right away out of shield. If I see that they're dashing back a lot, maybe I'll try to take a little more stage before I laser so that they wanna dash back again. They always wanna reset, be at a farther distance where I can't pressure them immediately out of the laser. And they can only do that so many times before they are cornered so I was using that to my advantage as well but if they're gonna jump then maybe I wait a little bit so they can't just jump over my laser if I did it as fast as possible so these are some things you can kind of remember when you're seeing how people respond to your lasers as Falco and it's an, such an important question how do they respond to my laser because that question opens up so much for you so you'll notice that I would um, laser and dash back laser and dash forward laser wait a little bit um, and then dash stuff like that is all really helpful and something that I really enjoy practicing a lot because it's so there's such a nuanced interaction there. Um, as Fox, of course, you know, there are so many things you can do off of laser, laser, uh, or take laser, turn around up tilt, or take laser dash, or you can crouch cancel the laser to have less stun. But, um, you know, I think this Fox did, had some good ideas where they would dash back after laser, they would full hop over laser. Um, but I, I think if they had mixed in a little bit more aggression, or if they hadn't done the same type of op the same response so many times in a row, I think that would have worked out a little better for them. But um, they still got some good openings. They still had some 
uh, potential for some stronger punishes. And so looking forward to see what they will do more in the future. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed these Falco Fox games. And um, yeah, these guys click buttons pretty fast. GG's to, I think, Lamanth for the games.